Hey YouTube, JW. Another edition of Retro Knives for you guys today. And today we're looking at something cool again, which falls in line with these two fellas. My Parker Bowling Stars. This one is the Blossom Blade. You can see it comes in this nice leather sheath. You put on your belt for um, quick deployment. And still smells like leather to this day. There it is. This one is a four point as opposed to three together um, here let me just show you guys an advertisement of when this came out okay as you can see these were advertised in ninja magazine and whatnot Push this in. God damn it. Put it push this. There you go. This kind of pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> this is another thing I couldn't really find a whole lot of information about. Um, this blossom. Blossom Blade Company here. Um, see what does that say on there? Yeah. Patent pending Blossom, but it's definitely cool. And it's not really useful for anything, <laughs> anything other than to, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, if you remember in the old Ninja movies, like, and it would like stick right. In right in their forehead, you know, and they'd fall over the railing down into the uh, ravine, but, you know, th these are just cool, and uh, I'm big into, I like uh, the pop culture of uh, the martial arts in the 1980s, I grew up with it as a kid, and, um, you know, looking at my older stepbrother's karate magazines as a kid, seeing the articles for this kind of stuff, and always wanting it and never getting it. Um, I'm to the point now where I buy it. it. Wasn't cheap. This one, which is the roughest, the biggest, I got pretty cheap. This one was very expensive. This one was less expensive, but still expensive. But um, you just don't see them that often. I follow the markets every day because that's what uh, I, that's what I do partially. I buy and sell knives every day. Uh, most of the time, I'm either getting a knife in or shipping a knife out um, three, four times a week. So. Um, I see a lot come through uh, the market, eBay and other places. A lot of it's eBay, but um, you got to watch it with stuff like this on eBay because they'll pull the ads. But I bid on this and won. It seems like they've been a little bit more lenient lately on uh, what they consider, you know, weapons, throwing stars, um numb nunchucks you know that kind of stuff that kids would want nunchucks throwing stars so you know automatic knives anything fun you know are cool 
they don't think you should have it, but <clears throat> I've dealt with e eBay and PayPal for, <clears throat> oh, almost 10 years now, so, pretty cool. Just kind of got that cool factor to it, you know. Take this, slide it in your sheet. You're ready for a night out in case there's any trouble. You can pull out your throwing star and uh, take care of the threat. And I never get these things closed. My first instinct is always wrong. My first instinct is always the wrong way with these things, but pretty cool. I don't really, like I said, have a lot of information about this, uh, about the company. If anybody does, let me know, you know, as much as I do. Um, I tried searching for this, and I mean, I found some old ads and stuff, and I remember seeing them, and there may have been a couple other versions of this. Um, I'd say you're probably looking at early to mid 80s, probably 1985. I know the ad, that ad was in a um, Ninja magazine or a Black Belt magazine from 1985. And uh, 85 seemed to be the pinnacle year for a lot of things in the 1980s. Um, and martial arts ninja things was one of them as well. Um, so just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Blossom Blade Throwing Star. Not something you're gonna see all the time. That's that's for damn sure. So let me add this to my collection. And, uh, I'll be I'll be keeping this one. You know, there's some things I, I resell, but there's other things like it takes too long to find and it's too hard to replace. Um, I may never be years before I see another one of these. I may see one tomorrow. I don't know. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.